I was curious, how much money did I make last month on Uber Eats compared to previously two years ago? Well, my name is Russ and I do this part time and I make videos to help drivers like you improve your earnings and ratings. And this is a perfect, perfect example for you to consider. Yeah, it took a little effort to go back and look at my pay, but you should do the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is break down this spreadsheet I went through and I looked at our pay on Uber Eats and I made it match exactly how it is in the app so that I know the math works and it is correct. Now there's a couple different categories in here that I'm going to break down. The driver pay and the customer pay. So the first important term is the customer price. This is the customer being charged by Uber Eats, the fare, the promotion, and the Uber service fee. That's it. That's the customer price. The next category is what the customer paid total, and that includes the tip as well. So now for drivers, we're paid a fare, we're paid a promotion, and we're paid a tip. All of that comes from the customer. So on the screen here, you can see the breakdown of those categories from May of 21 and May of 23. Now, why did I pick that? Well, Prop 22 affects drivers here in California, and I wanted to get a baseline before that started hitting our pay. And I noticed that started in February of 22. So I went back two years to May of 21. So I should clarify, I did a total of 54 orders in May of 21, and I did 38 in May of 23. And I took averages of all of this so that you can get a comparison. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. So the overall fare, it used to be 420, and then recently it was 663. That's a big difference in our base pay. Next, another surprising area were promotions. It seemed like we used to get a lot more back then. So that averaged 319 and it would have been vastly lower. But what I did is I added the Prop 22 money into the promotions because the customer didn't pay for it. Uber did, but you have to account for the pay somewhere. And so I put it in promotions and you can still see it's lower than before at 289 on average. Next, this was a real shocker. Uber's service fee has gone up almost three times. It's huge. It's a big difference. And again, it changes on every order. You can see it went from 233 all the way up to 615. So you may ask, what's Uber doing with this money? They're using that to pay the Prop 22 money here in California. So overall, tips have gone up. They used to be 316 and now the average 390. So that's great. Customers are tipping more and they're actually paying more to Uber Eats. So they've got a lot of expenses and that made me reflect. Maybe I shouldn't complain so much um, when customers don't tip as much or tip at all because here in California, we're getting Prop 22 money. So we are making decent earnings compared to not having that before. And on top of that, customers are tipping more. So let's talk about what the customer is paying. And you can see there's a big difference. Two years ago, it was 965 on average. Now it's 1320. You can see that the total the customer paid averaged 1229. And now it's 1676. Now to be fair in this spreadsheet, again, Uber did not charge the customers Prop 22 pay. So what I did is I took my Prop 22 pay and I took it out of that equation. So these numbers do not even reflect Prop 22 money. The customers are really paying that much more. What can we learn from all this? Anything? Actually, we can learn quite a bit. I was just curious, is Uber going to be able to sustain paying us as we do these orders? And you can clearly see that the service fees went up so much and this is how they're paying us. So yes, as long as the customers keep paying, it is sustainable because Uber's paying us our paychecks as drivers out of those service fees. Now, guess what? There's more money out there, right? Restaurants and businesses, they pay Uber Eats to use their platform. So they're even getting more money from that that obviously we don't have a record of. But at least it is comforting, right? You know, anytime they pass a law, the bill goes to the consumer. So ultimately, the consumer is going to pay whatever the new tax rate, whatever the increase is, it's going to go to the customer. So it's reassuring in our industry now to see that the customers are paying the bill, they're continuing to order, and that's how Uber Eats is continuing to pay me to go out and deliver their food. Who cares? Why did I make this video? How is it going to help you? Here's how. Go back and look through your pay and you can have facts to base your assumptions on instead of just feelings because, you know, 
I do the same thing. I kind of feel like, ah, seems like it's tougher out there. I'm not making as much. But actually, when I looked at the facts, I am. And so if you go look through your paychecks as well, you can dig and you'll see the trends as well. And again, this was just a one month snapshot from two years ago comparing to today. But it's better than not contemplating our pay at all. So another thing, it all comes down to pay. We're not doing this for gold stars, good feelings, or feeling rewarded. Instead, we just want a paycheck. You know, I've made previous videos. If you're doing the ASU online where you can get your college degree paid for, or if you're working enough to get those healthcare benefits, then yeah, that's a huge pay raise. But like many, I do this part time. And so I don't need those benefits. I actually just need money. I hope that you can take the lessons from today and apply them to yourself. And you know what, there's more. Don't forget to like the video and channel. So up next, check out this video I made of seven habits of highly effective food delivery drivers. You're gonna benefit from these customer service skills, applying them to your own business, and you're gonna make more money in tips and you're gonna have better ratings, which is gonna keep you from getting deactivated. So check that out now and I'll see you in my next video.